Hello friends, today we will see how to draw parabola by focus directrix method. The requirement of focus directrix method of parabola is what? We must know the distance of a focus from the directrix and that distance is given let's say 60 mm. Distance of a focus from the directrix is 60 mm and with this data only we are supposed to draw the parabola. Then how to draw the parabola observe it very carefully what we have to do so first always we have to draw the directrix line that directrix line is going to be a straight vertical dark line so this is the directrix line and once we draw the directrix line immediately you draw the axis line or horizontal intersecting line and that line is going to be horizontal it will be like this and intersection of these two lines it is going to be D. Now from this mark the distance equal to 60 mm. So from the directrix mark a distance equal to 60 mm 20 40 and 60 and at a distance of 60 mm at a distance of 60 mm draw the vertical line uh, means this is the initial part of the parabola d it is f and this focus to directrix distance it is 60 mm now while drawing the parabola what we have to do so for the parabola always its eccentricity is known for the parabola eccentricity is 1 and we can write this one 1 by 1 and numerator plus denominator its addition is 2 means with the help of this 2 what we can do is fd distance we have to divide it into two equal number of parts two equal number of parts means it is going to be simply its midpoint if 60 is there we don't have to do too much so this total is 60 exactly at its midpoint mark the point and after marking that point immediately draw the vertical line vertical intersecting line means this fd distance it has been divided into two equal parts and that point is v vertex it is going to be on the parabola and that vertex how it will be on the parabola it satisfies the condition of eccentricity because distance of a point from focus divided by distance of that point from the directrix it is going to be same which is 30 30 and its ratio eccentricity is the ratio of this it is 30 by 30 it is going to be 1 then for getting additional points follow the procedure which I will be explaining so for that very first thing you have to do is that keep the compass at vertex then take vf distance take vf distance and with this distance cut the arc on this vertical line cut the arc on this vertical line and wherever it intersects wherever it intersects give some name any name a and join DA and extend that line then how we can join this line so and here where if I join this D to A that angle is going to be perfectly 45 the reason is what this VA distance sign DV distance is same and with this 45 degree angle we have to mark this line automatically we will get this line at an angle of 45 degree so either you can write 
or even though if you don't write it will do but it is the line with 45 degree this is optional then after that again what you have to do towards right of v towards right of v for getting the more points draw some additional vertical lines it may be one two three four for one line always we get the two points so what i'll do so i'm marking this is one line then this is second line you can take this distances randomly that third line is through focus it is the fourth line and even though if we take these four lines so these are more than enough these are more than enough for drawing the proper parabola so wherever these vertical lines intersects to this horizontal line and that slant line give the same names so i'll suggest here it's one it's two at the focus three and here four similarly it's one two three and four then how to get the required points so for that now put the compass at one and then in the compass take one to one distance focus point is very important for us remember put the compass at the focus and with this one to one distance in the compass you have to cut the arc on the same line same vertical line passing through one and on lower side also the arc you have to mark means on one to one line we get two points it is p1 it is also p1 then <coughs> shift the center shift the compass at two point two then in the compass you have to take two to two distance two to two distance and shift the compass at three which is the focus that is very important and again cut the arc on the same line cut the arc on the same line two to two yeah. on upper side at the same time on lower side then keep the compass at the focus increase its a radius that radius will be equal to 3 to 3 and with the same distance compass will be at the focus for cutting the arc always your compass should be at the focus hence the point on 3 to 3 line will be same same point on upper side and on lower side we get this point then this end of the compass or four in the compass you have to take four to four distance shift the center right means always you have to keep the compass at focus and cut the arc on the same line four to four four to four it will be Four to four. We'll get the fourth point. So like this, on upper side four and on lower side four, we'll get the more points. So these points we can mark. For marking, what we have to do? Mark these points like this it's one it's v two slightly below that line three perfectly on the line four also little bit below that line then p1 
P2, P3 and P4. So these are the points on the parabola. Join all these points with a smooth curve. How to join? Observe it very carefully. It requires the concentration. Draw with a free hand. It will be excellent one. It will improve your confidence. And if some mistake is there, eraser is there. You can erase and once again you can try. Oh, with this four vertical lines, we have got eight points. Four on upper side, four on lower side and vertexes. Through these nine points, we have to draw a smooth curve and it is going to be parabola. Now see how I am drawing the parabolic curve. So with a free hand, if you draw, it will be much better. So a French curve will take more time. So instead of that, curve passing through these eight points. This is the parabola passing through these eight points. Smooth curve we can draw while drawing. What we have to do? You have to see towards the points, not towards the pencil. And with concentration, move your hand. Automatically, it will pass through all these points. So this is the proper way of drawing the parabola, parabolic curve. Then after this, again, what is the requirement? for the neat presentation we must know what is its dimension so that dimension we have to give means distance of a focus from the directrix line so it is mentioned it is mentioned as 50 and that dimension also it should not intersect our curve mark the neat dimension line so it should be up to the focus only and so at the end, we have to draw the proper arrow. So it should be a filled arrow having 1 nice 2 3 proportion up to the focus. And centrally, you write. So whatever this dimension is there, 60, neatly, it is 60 means parabola with focus directrix distance 60 mm all the dimensions in the drawing they are in mm that's why no need to write mm in the dimensioning and afterwards naming is optional so you can name these points just like p1 p2 p3 P4, same names, you can repeat, location is different, P1, P2, P3, P4. It is the parabola by focus directrix mm having 60 mm distance between focus and directrix. Thank you.